When I travel for the Active Towns tour by plane, I nearly always have my trusty Brompton folding bike with me. Typically upon my arrival, I will use some form of public transit to get to my final destination. However, depending on the city, I may choose to ride my bike directly from the airport. This is a fun video montage of a handful of such airport runs that I've done over the past 10 years, including uh, Portland, Oregon, Los Angeles, California, Copenhagen, Denmark, and of course my favorite, Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And first up is Amsterdam as we make our way out to the airport for a quick getaway trip to Copenhagen for the weekend. Bags are packed, let's roll. And of course, I couldn't help but have some footage of the amazing roundabouts on the way out to the airport. These are truly a delight. And some cool edge lane roads as well. And the closer you get to the airport, the more that you actually have these separated, dedicated bicycle paths. And this particular one will go right underneath the runway here, something I could have used in Los Angeles, as you'll learn. And as you can see here, the bicycle path comes right up to the terminal. Having truly safe and inviting dedicated paths directly to and from the actual terminal once at the airport is an essential design feature that makes this type of trip comfortable. Okay, we made it to Copenhagen. Let's get these Bromptons built up and head on out. Also, having safe and inviting routes to and from the airport when combined with convenient and secure bike parking facilities at the terminal make the bike commute journey a legitimate option for workers at the airport, especially given the availability of the electric assist bicycle. As you can see, there are many stunningly beautiful bicycle paths out near the airport. We then noticed that there was a gradual yet distinct transition from a suburban environment to the more urban context as we rode closer to our apartment complex that we were staying at. With our quick weekend trip to Copenhagen complete, we're back in Amsterdam and now we're heading to Delft and able to ride some of the bicycle infrastructure that we haven't yet explored before as we decided to go to Leiden by bike uh, before jumping on a train and then heading into Delft. And here's an older uh, bicycle path. And then we also found some more edge lane road treatments. Some of these were a little less comfortable as the motor vehicle drivers were moving quite quickly and seemed a little aggressive. But fortunately we found some other side paths and it was truly a lovely, lovely countryside to ride through. And we made it to the Leiden train station at nightfall so that we could catch our train to Delft. Portland delivered with a stellar bicycle assembly area, complete with tools and access to an air pump. A truly convenient feature. And the airport does feature some multi-use paths leading right up to the terminal and getting you just off of the airport property and then getting you into a community here where there are some more parking protected and separated facilities, as well as getting into the typical neighborhood greenways that you see in this part of Portland. Okay, here's a quick summary of my Los Angeles to Long Beach journey. I rolled out of the terminal very early in the morning, way before dawn and the notorious Los Angeles traffic. Sorry, no photos or videos of this part. The terminal was actually quite quiet and pretty much deserted. The main challenge was having to take the lane on a massive six lane arterial that tunnels underneath one of the main runways. With this accomplished successfully, within a few minutes, I made my way into the beach town of El Segundo, 
and onto the Strand Beach Path that took me through Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, and Redondo. Before long, I was climbing my way up into and around Rancho Palos Verdes Peninsula, where I stopped to have breakfast and enjoy the sights of a historic lighthouse. After several hours of riding, it was indeed a relief to see Long Beach in the distance. Once in Long Beach, I was ready for more coffee and something to eat. Before heading to my ultimate destination and accommodations for the next couple of days, the Queen Mary. At the end of the conference for my return trip to the airport, I opted for the more direct on-road route that is definitely not recommended for the fate of heart. Sorry, no photos at all from that leg as I was totally focused on the task at hand, getting to LAX in one piece, which I once again accomplished. In summary, cities that have airports within reasonable riding distances to their downtowns and other meaningful destinations have an opportunity to provide their workers and visitors with legitimate active mobility choices. And for those of you wondering, and as my a partner can attest, no, I am not a light packer. <laughs> In addition to way too much clothing, I typically have at least 20 to 30 pounds not sure what that is in kilos, I'll figure that out, of camera gear with me on any given trip. One bonus is that I no longer pack a helmet when I travel to the Netherlands. So that gives me a little extra space for rainproof riding gear. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like, leave me a comment below and share it with anyone who you think might be inspired to ride to or from their next airport visit. One last thing before I let you go, please be sure to check out my Active Town store for some fun Streets Are For People swag. Well, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.